Welcome back guys to Cops Court and Coffee. I'm Darnell Leeson. So recently, the DNA subcommittee of New York State Commission on Forensic Science unanimously agreed to allow expanded genetic testing to help solve unspeakable crimes. Congratulations. So what is a familial DNA search, you ask? Well, a familial DNA search is where law enforcement agencies search DNA databases for genetic information indicating a relative of a person that they are actually looking to identify. So basically, when a search for an exact match to a DNA sample does not produce any results, then a familial DNA search could very well produce results of a partial match indicating a child, a parent, other sibling, or another blood relative. Now, according to a report by Newsday, the policy states that familial DNA testing could only be used once local police and prosecutors show that reasonable investigation methods have been used and produced no results or that an emergency situation exists. And finally, Queens District Attorney Richard Brown in New York, who was very pro-familial DNA search, especially during the Karina Vetrano case that actually shocked the Howard Beach community, stated that approving familial DNA searches is an important step forward in identifying the guilty, excluding the innocent, and bringing closure to the families of victims of unsolved homicides. Well, that's all I have for now on this subject. Please take a second and comment below and tell me what you think. Do you think that familial DNA searches should be used all the time or only in the situations outlined in the policies? Listen, if you guys wanna keep watching, click on one of the videos to my left and don't forget to subscribe. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.